Welcome to Teach the Multiverse. I'm your host, Tyrus, and I had a really, really good week, folks, because one of the reasons why is I had a really successful toy hunt. I mean, from every which way, whether it be GameStop, whether it be Big Bad Toy Store, as well as Target. As you can see, I have a number of things from Target that I'm really happy about, folks. I mean, I feel like I'm one of the individuals who lucked out a lot during my toy hunts over the last few weeks. I always felt like I was on the outside looking in, but now, you know, I'm I'm, I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. It is good. But uh, yeah, welcome to Teach Smoke Diverse. I have a haul that I want to share with you all from Target. I was able to get some deals for these figures as well. And uh, first of all, I want to take a look at some of Fallen Toy Figures. You guys know that's my jam. Uh, so as you can see here, I have them already out of the packaging. Uh, let's take a look at my main man, the Batman. You know I got to go with Batman. So this is the Page Punchers Batman here. I have them already out of the packaging here. He comes with his uh, Batman uh, Battle Axe and as well as his other uh, weapon, prehistoric weapon. Now this is based off the Batman fighting the frozen Page Punchers wave. There are other figures that are from within this wave as well. I don't care for those figures, folks. This is the one I wanted. This uh, prehistoric, I call it the Conan the Barbarian Batman. I mean, this guy looks amazing, dude. I mean, it's just, this Batman is just like, he's different. You know, you don't have a lot of Batman figures, as you may or may not know from this channel. But this Batman here, dude, he, he just looks so different. I could not pass on him. I saw him at Target. And I was like, okay, I got to get them. And of course, these page puncher figures are packaged with a comic. So that's another thing. So for $24, you get Batman and a Conan the Barbarian Batman. And you also get a comic. And these comics are pretty good. Now, I will say this. I will get this Mr. Freeze here. There's a Mr. Freeze that that is in this wave as well. Um, I'm going to get him to go against this. There you go. This is, another, this is the image of the Mr. Freeze. So... I'm going to get this Mr. Freeze here, but as you can see, these comics are legit. They're really cool. So yeah, I got this uh, fighting the frozen Batman. And again, he comes with some weapons and accessories. Of course, he comes with the collector's card here. We're no stranger to that on the channel. Uh, and a, a collector stand, uh, not a collector stand, but a display stand. So uh, this, this has to be, folks, I will say one of my most favorite figures of the year from a falling toy from top to bottom. I mean, the scope, the detail for this Batman, the attention, the detail throughout looks amazing, man. I mean, this is awesome for me. So I'm really happy with this. I almost, I was like, I almost passed on this Batman because I didn't care for the wave as a whole. But I will be getting the Mr. Freeze. I'm going to get him. I saw him at Walmart as well. So uh, I'm going to go back and check out the Mr. Freeze and get him. But uh, yeah, folks, really happy about this Batman. So I have him. And also, we're going to take a look at... Uh, evil version of Wonder Woman. Now, this is a one. This is one figure that I was like been trying to find over the last few weeks, and just was not successful. Just was having no luck finding her in my store. And then, uh, lo and behold, one evening she popped up on my Amazon, not Amazon, but my Target app, and uh, she was for sale for what was it nineteen, nineteen ninety nine. Usually they're twenty four dollars. So this is the evil version of Wonder Woman from the Flashpoint universe. And I am very impressed with this Wonder Woman, folks. This Wonder Woman looks awesome. I mean, I, I, I'm, you know, I want a classic Wonder Woman, which is coming. But this Wonder Woman from Flashpoint, this is this is really, really good. The costume, the gold throughout, the helmet. She comes with the sword and everything. She has a presence that uh, I'm just very impressed with, man. I mean, I really like this. Of course, the cape is immaculate the hair uh the helmet man look at the helmet the face scope the gold helmet everything is there for this wonder woman folks i mean i really like this one more one now the thing about this particular figure is that this marks the conclusion of this flashpoint build a figure way because now she was also packaged with the head of my main man cyborg uh, as you see here so i've assembled uh, cyborg man, he is massive as you can see. I mean, I'm gonna put him on the screen here. He's massive, folks. Now, this effect does not come with him. Um, I added this because uh, I, I like adding things to my figures for blast effect features. But man, this guy looks 
fantastic. I mean, I know a lot of people were complaining about his height and how tall he is. I don't know why. Hey, man, it, to, to each is their own, but I like his size. He has a huge presence. I love it. It's crazy how we're getting build figures like this that look this amazing. I mean, this just looks awesome. Now, this Wonder Woman and this Cyborg will be a part of a huge, a very special McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse video I have coming up, folks. So you don't want to miss that, folks. That be stay tuned because it's gonna be it's gonna be big. I got two huge McFarlane DC Multiverse videos coming up, so you don't want to miss it, folks. So uh, I have Flashpoint Wonder Woman and Flashpoint Cyborg here, and again, this Cyborg is awesome, man. Look at look at the face sculpt, man. So this is what came with the Wonder Woman. This is awesome. So uh, stay tuned for Flashpoint, uh, Cyborg, and Wonder Woman. You will see them again. Now, of course, Wonder Woman was packaged with this collector's card here. So it's pretty good. And uh, it's weird how you see uh, Hawk Girl in the background. So is that a tease for what's to come? We'll see. We might get Hawk Girl. All right. The last DC Multiverse figure that we have from this haul is kyle -El's cousin, Supergirl. So... Uh, this is yet another huge deal that I was able to capture off Amazon. And uh, normally these figures are $19.99. I caught Supergirl for $15.99 at Target. So she is on sale. Actually, folks, there's a lot of figures that are on sale right now at Target. So you want to definitely want to check out Target. I guess with the holidays coming, uh, that, that's here. You want to check out the sales that they do have. They got a lot of pre-orders and everything that's going up for sale. So uh, definitely check it out. But I was able to capture her for $15.99. And uh, I do, I mean, the face go, and I'll, if you look at the picture here and here, I I don't know if it's quite the same at all. But uh, I mean, the face scope could be better, but it's not awful. You know, I, I do see some people are complaining about the eyes and how it looks a little weird. But uh, I don't know, man. I, I'm not so picky. I mean, I, I, I get that it could be better, but it's not that bad. You know, it's not that bad. Uh, you know, I can work with it. It's pretty cool to get a Supergirl figure. Now, the only thing that they did mess up is this. I don't know if she was shooting Botox into her butt or what. I don't know, man. This just don't look right. They did not handle this correctly at all. I don't know what this was back here. I mean, I I, I don't know, man. I mean, <laughs> oh no. I don't know. I mean, maybe I don't know. If she was in the Sir Mix a Lot video with uh, the Big Butts video, man. I don't. I don't know from back in the day, but I don't. This does not look right at all. I don't know what McFarlane was thinking on that. Now, I mean, that's where that's where things get a little wonky down here in this area. Uh, here doesn't look it that bad, but man, when you talk about the, <laughs> I don't know what this is, folks. But as a whole, I mean, everything else is pretty cool. I mean, she has that nice gold. Uh, trimming and colors or for a belt here she has the gold for her uh emblem of hope here and with the s and the red um uh, and one of the things that really stand out to me with the supergirl you know i missed a lot of the things that may or not may not be good or bad is the fact that she has a cloth cape so uh mcfarland is starting to lean more into cloth capes folks i think at some point that's going to be the thing that we'll be getting with our figures moving forward it's cloth capes, and I'm all for it. And maybe we'll get pinless at some point or another. But uh, this Supergirl also comes with a flight stand. Now, this is the thing that I always mention in my reviews is that a lot of our figures that have flight capabilities do not come with a flight stand. But Supergirl has a flight stand. That's awesome. Really happy that she has this because uh, there's a lot of figures that don't come with flight stands, folks. And I don't, I don't know. I understand that at all. But, uh, yeah, we got Supergirl here, and it's just cool to get another female character from within this uh, DC Multiverse wave, folks. I mean, even though, you know, yeah, the face scope could be better. I don't know if he was thinking about the hips or whatever he was doing right there. This is a welcome addition to the DC Multiverse line to get a Supergirl. So, got Supergirl here, and again, she's going to be a part of another, uh, uh, that huge DC Multiverse video, folks. So, you just don't want to miss it. She is going to be a part of it, so definitely stay tuned for that. Up, up, and away. And now we are going to take a look at something that I'm going to move this out the way because we're going to take a look at these last. Uh, we're going to look at something that I've never collected before, ever. And that is the Jurassic Park figures. This is my very first Jurassic Park figure. 
And I saw this at Target and I bought this figure for a reason. And I bought it because I wanted something for my fighting the frozen Batman. I feel like I, he would go really well with a prehistoric creature. And I was like, okay, I need something. And I went down to Jurassic Park aisle and I saw some Jurassic Park figures for sale. All right. So um, I was like, okay, I'm all in. And this might be a rabbit hole that I don't need to go down because who doesn't need dinosaur monsters for their action figure collection? I mean, I could, you could always use these figures for whatever, you know, uh, whether it be He-Man or, you know, your X, your not X-Men, X-Men, because they can have the, the uh, prehistoric uh, world that I can't think of the name, but, you know, you can always use, you know, prehistoric creatures. So this is the Jurassic Park Gigantosaurus uh, action figure. And it actually, this thing supposedly makes sounds. And um, originally this figure was $39.99 and it wound up being $19.99. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to pass up on this thing. <laughs> I'm not passing up on this thing. All right, before we take this Gigantosaurus out of the packaging, let's take a look at the back of the box here. And as you can see, this thing does have some sort of an action feature here. Strike and roar action feature. Uh, it does have a presence, man. This thing looks like it. It, it looks like a Jurassic Park prehistoric uh, creature. So uh, now that we've taken a look at the back of the packaging, let's get this guy out of the box and uh, take a look at him. All right, he's already sort of kind of out of the box, but you know what I mean. All right, let's go. Okay, folks, I think I found a real diamond in the rough. I mean, I've been sleeping on these Jurassic Park figures, folks. I was, <laughs> I was messing with this figure off camera and it does some really cool things and to get this thing for $19.99 man okay first off this thing is well articulated I mean the arms and everything articulates pretty well uh again it has it has a presence to it um and the tail articulates and everything you know this is just the, the small minor things but again it also makes sounds you know, and I mean, this is really cool, man. Like, I'm gonna have to get maybe another one too, like another dinosaur creature. Um, but let's like let's test out the action feature. So, first one is there's a button here on the back, and you press it, and he does that. All right, so that's cool. And his mouth opens. Look at the mouth. <laughs> this is so cool. This very impressive. Oh, wait a minute. So this does this moves the creature like this, right? All right. And then this button here at the bottom gives them makes them okay. That activates the mouth. So this activates the mouth here. Okay. And then this part moves this torso area. All right. So when he's fighting the frozen batman you know it makes for a really good setup all right so this is really cool i i'm impressed with this folks i mean and it and it really looks good the scope the detail the eyes the colors everything it looks so good and to get this thing for the price point and for what it does man this is crazy. I didn't know it could do all this, folks. I'm sorry if I'm taking too long. But, yeah, this is really, really cool. Very impressed with this, folks. Very impressed with this here. So, Gigantosaurus. Definitely, I recommend that you get this figure here. Uh, if you like Jurassic Park, even if you don't, because I was not a, but didn't care for this line until now. So, definitely go out and get them, folks. This thing is $19.99. It was $40. It's half off. Go out and get them, folks. So we have the fight, fighting the frozen Batman with. The, can I put him on his back? Oh, oh, I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. Let me get it. Oh man, let me get the camera up a bit. Oh yeah, this is so awesome, man. All right, folks, I'm having too much fun here. Hey, that's that's what it's, that's what it's for, right? But uh, I have the fighting the frozen Batman with the Jurassic Park Gigantosaurus here at T's Multiverse. All right, let's get on to the next segment. I'm having fun, folks. This is cool. All right, folks, I'm going to cap this video off with two new Marvel Legend figures that I've, man, I've been looking forward to getting, and that is the Amazing Spider-Man first appearance 
issue number one, Retro Spider-Man. I mean, Spider-Man is one of my all-time favorite superheroes, folks. And uh, I passed up on the... I guess they re-released this figure. This figure is a re-release, folks. I mean, it, there's a minor difference. Uh, this was released all a year ago during Spider-Man, a celebration for Marvel Legends, that beyond amazing Spider-Man celebration that they had last year. But yeah, this is a re-release here for Spider-Man, but I, I did not want to pass up on this guy here, folks. Uh, he does come with some accessories. We'll dive into all this later. Uh, but in the back here, you see Spider-Man, amazing Spider-Man, and Spider-Man first ever adventure, Tragedy teaches a young Peter Parker that with great power comes great responsibility. I love that there. Words to live by. All right, and so we got Spider-Man here, and we also have yet another favorite of mine. This is like the Batman of Marvel. I mean, I don't know. I think I, Batman is still better for me, but Moon Knight is just so bad, and I mean a good bad. <laughs> he bad. He's Michael Jackson bad. But uh, yeah, we got Moon Knight here. This is the one that stands out for me, folks. I've been wanting this Moon Knight figure. I mean, the other one, the Walgreens exclusive on the aftermarket, it's just insane, the price that he's going for. So I was like, okay, as soon as I can get this thing, if I can find it um, at Target, uh, I did a short uh, for both of these figures. So definitely check it out. But man, really excited for this Moon Knight figure, folks. I mean, I, you don't know. I've been wanting this guy for a variety of reasons. I wanted him because he's one of my all-time favorite superheroes, whether it be Marvel and DC, or DC. And I wanted him for my West Coast Avengers team and also for the Marvel Knights team that's forming. You know, you have Blade, you have uh, Punisher, and we have uh, Luke Cage. I'll, I'll, he'll be compared to them shortly. So, but yeah, I'm going to stop babbling. We're going to take these two out of the packaging. We're going to take a closer look, all right? Let's get to it. All right, folks, I have the two out of the packaging. I'm going to start off with my main man, Spider-Man. And I just wanted to touch upon... Uh, the accessories first. So um, this web effect, or not web effect, but this uh, web accessory that uh, my Spider-Man is packaged with, it's a little tricky. I, I appreciate the concept and the idea to pretty much mimic the webbing that we see on the old classic Spider-Man uh, characters underneath the arms. I appreciate that. That's one of the things that I really love. And as you can see, I tried to preserve this retro card packaging because i love the artwork man I, i'm just a sucker for this retro card and stuff so uh i did definitely try to to uh definitely um preserve it as much as i can i don't want to knock anything down but i'll just put it back here um but yeah i just i don't know it this thing is difficult folks to attach to his underarm so there's two uh web accessory effects you have the more outstretched web effect that you place under the arm when his arms are out. So as you can see, if you place this arm out like this, you can see it outstretched. And it tabs underneath the arm here. So it's a little tricky, folks. It's real, it's a little tricky to, to get it to go and to stay. I mean, everybody may have their own way of doing it. I mean, this is how I did it. Um, and then you have the other uh, web accessory that's more folded underneath the arms. And again, I appreciate the concept. It's just a little tricky, man, to attach to the underarms and for it to stay. That's why I'm being very, very careful with it. But um, yeah, if he stretches his arms out, you can see the web effect. It's stretched here. It's more folded. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate the idea uh, with that and everything. So I'm just going to take these pegs off because they're going to fall off anyways. And again, the pegs are underneath the arms here. All right. So we have the web effects. We also have the uh, a series of swappable hands. Of course, we have the web shooting hands. So we have that. Of course, we always got to have that with Spider-Man. We also have some wall crawling hands here as well. Uh, so we're no stranger to all of these hands. If you have Marvel Legends spider Man, you know you, you're going to get these. And then we also have these more gripping hands that will be utilized for his web. So he does come with the web line, which I really appreciate it. You can always, you know, uh, uh, hang them from the wall or something like that or your shelf. So this is something that you can utilize. Oh, let's just... And we're going to place that there. And then we have his web line, which you can you can attach like this with his hand. Or you can attach this to the a ceiling or, or like a little peg or a hook. And then you can have him to kind of hang this way or whatever. But this is pretty cool. I like this. I appreciate this web line. So we have that. Now, overall, this Spider-Man looks really good. I, I love how they handle the sculpted detail of the figure. I mean, it's a your typical Marvel Legends Spider-Man figure. 
Um, the color is a press all right. It feels a little muted for me. Uh, I really wish they would have added some shading, a hint of, sh of blue shading to give it that contrast as opposed to all black here. Uh, but I see what they were going with. They were just trying to capture what we have here uh, on the packaging uh, for the all black uh, shading or whatever. This Now, that other Spider-Man is available on Big Bad Toy Store, but I just didn't dive into that one. But the only difference for, from this Spider-Man to the one that they released um, last year, or that's up for sale, is that the Spidey logo on the back here is blue and the other one was red. So that's really the only difference that this Spider-Man has to the one that was released a year ago that is available on Big Bad Toy Store. But um, here we have the Spidey face scope. I love the smaller eyes. They handle the, li the lines for the Spidey costume very well. We have the Spidey emblem here on the front. Nice, like, big, uh, classic, you know, uh, just a really big, classic-looking Spider-Man logo. Uh, beefy. I want to call it Beefy Spider-Man logo here. So, it looks cool. And, and again, uh, you know, you're getting your typical Hasbro Marvel Legends Spider-Man articulation and everything. So, you have no issues articulating this guy. Uh, he has the thigh swivel. He has the upper torso he has an ab crunch here, nice articulation in the head. So you'll be able to get this guy in all types of poses and everything. Uh, now, I wanted to compare him. I'm going to move Moon Knight to the side here. And I wanted to compare him to some of the other Spider-Man figures that I do have from within my, my collection. So the uh, symbiote Spider-Man here. So I have him. And I also have, let's try to see if he'll stand. I also have the Renew Your Vow Spider-Man figure now. Um... The only thing uh, articulation wise that this Spider-Man does not have that this one has is this one has the toe articulation. So he has like the superior articulation in terms of having that toe articulation for uh, dynamic poses and everything. But other than that, man, I mean, this Spider-Man is pretty solid. You know, I really like him. You know, anything classic, man, I'm all for. You know, you give me some classic figures. I'm all for these this classic figures, man. So I uh, really like all of the Spider-Mans that I do have. Um, building that world of Spider-Man figures and everything, man. So really happy with that. So I have the Spider-Man, first appearance Spider-Man here at Tease Motors. All right, folks, last but not least, we have my main man, the Moon Knight figure here. And he comes with some really cool accessories, y'all. I'm telling you, man. I, I'm just happy to have this guy because I, I've been wanting this figure for some time. All right, so he does come with a swappable head. Now, it gives you more of that, that black silhouette type of a look. Uh, this is the look that I will more likely go with for my Moon Knight figure. He does come with two sets of swappable hands here. So these are more gripping hands for his weapons and everything. So he does have that. And he comes with his classic... Uh, bow staff here because Moon Knight he's a master of weapons and everything so he has the bow staff here would have been cool if they would have these things would have separated but uh hey that's all right so he has that and he also comes with his classic crescent darts so he has the larger crescent darts that he can attack his enemies with and do some damage because Moon Knight don't play y'all he's brutal and then last but not least he has these smaller crescent darts and I want to show you how these work now I have them inside the attached to the plastic because these can be lost uh, easily. But uh, what I wanted to show is that these crescent darts, what I like is if you look closely, there's like little pegs here in the fist. So what you would do is you would take the crescent dart and you would peg it into the fist. I think I'm doing it the wrong way. I think you can do it this way here. All right, folks, I have equipped my Moon Knight with some weapons here. Now, as you can see, the crescent darts have been pegged into those little holes into the fist. Uh, but these things can easily be lost, folks. I mean, they're just so small, but I love and I appreciate the idea for this. And I, again, I have equipped his larger crescent dart. I'm not crescent dart, but crescent weapon into the other hand. And man, so he looks cool, folks. I really like what this, they did with this Moon Knight. Uh, man, classic, you know, pretty much the, the typical Marvel Legends body mode that they're utilizing for him. He's going to have pretty much the same articulation that Spider-Man has, the thigh swivel. He has the little the ab crunch. He does have waist swivel, and I think that's the thing that the Spider-Man does not have is waist swivel. So he does have that um, over the Spider-Man figure. But, man, this figure looks good. I love the sculpted detail of the face, how they handle the folds of the cloak. 
um, the not the cloak, but the um, the hood. Love how to handle the hood as well as the cape here. Um, there's some shading here, hints of shading uh, within the cape as well as the cowl or the hood area. I keep wanting to say cowl. It's the same thing. And then the face sculpt here uh, was handled very well. The eyes and then the emblem, they added some shading here to give it some depth for his Moon Knight emblem and everything. So it's just typical Marvel Legend body mode. They use a lot of the same body modes with these figures, folks. Um, and then uh, let's swap out. I want to swap out his head scope. So yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's take that. Because this is the one that I'm going to use for a Moon Knight if I can peg it in. Um, let's see. There we go. All right. So we got that here for Moon Knight. And then also we want to Let's equip this bow staff, all right? Let's do that. Let's swap that out. All right, so yeah. So we got this bow staff here, and we have a face scope. And again, we have the black silhouette for the face scope here for Moon Knight. I love that, folks. So yeah, got Moon Knight here with all of his accessories. Very happy with this figure, folks. I mean, you could put him with your West Coast Avengers or your Marvel Knight character. So I have Luke Cage. That's part of that new Marvel Knights wave. We also have Blade that is here as well. Now I'm excited about Blade. Blade and Luke Cage. And then last but not least, we got yet another favorite of mine. Gonna move Luke Cage over to the side a bit. And we have my main man, Matt Murdock, the Daredevil. So uh, yeah, folks, we got some good stuff up here at T's Multiverse. Man, I'm really excited about these figures here. Now, Blade, Daredevil, and Luke Cage will be a part of a uh, review that I have coming up that I'm working on. So stay tuned for that. And I also uh, include Punisher. I have Punisher uh, that I'm going to, uh, he's going to make a cameo in that video, folks. All so. right, folks, that's all I have for this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in to this haul unboxing slash review video. I mean, I'm having a blast with the figures that I'm I'm collecting out in the wild, man. I'm having a lot of luck, folks. There's a lot that's out right now. A lot of things to be excited for. Maybe not so much for our wallets, but man, as collectors, really excited for the things that, that that's out right now and the things that's coming. Um, there's so much that's coming out, folks. But uh, definitely check these stores. I mean, everything right now, a lot of deals are starting to drop and happen, folks. So check your, you know, your apps, you know, and everything, and uh, keep an eye out for all these deals that's happening right now, folks. Because this is this is the big time uh, to capture some deals. But man, really excited for everything that I have here, folks. Stay tuned for more videos from T's Multiverse. Again, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. I can't believe this thing does what it does. I love it. But again, folks, thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to comment below, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, be good to one another. Be safe. Stay tuned. And y'all heard it from him. All right. Until next time. Bye for now.